Hello and welcome to the extra level of the Cheat Engine tutorial game hacking video series. In the previous three videos we created cheats for each level. One gives us infinite ammo, two gives us god mode and instant kill on the enemies, and three is a proper no collision. So in this one here, uh, we're going to take a look at the anti-cheat, or more accurately the cheat detection, because Oops, let me attach, keep that, there we go. As soon as you activate a cheat, you get a little message up here, integrity check error. So the game knows we're cheating and it could just close itself. It could pretend to do something and then actually give us weird results. Or for an online game, it would report back to the server that we're cheating and we would get banned. So to do this, we just need to find an instruction quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna go we're going to grab the first instruction that we had modified. So let us disassemble this memory. Again. There you go. So every time we shoot, this is the instruction that gets called. And so the way these anti-cheats usually work, the basic ones at least, is they will just compare what we have in memory to what's on disk of a file. So you could patch the binary, but maybe the game has an auto update. So it'll tell that the binary has been patched and it'll report that and re-download an update. So what we wanna do is make sure that in memory, this, the game isn't even able to tell that this isn't being, or that this isn't correct, that it's been modified. So what we'll do is we will copy the address of the instruction and we'll just jump down there, down here quickly. And these are the same bytes as you can see, 8343C01, 48, blah, blah, blah. But all we want to do is right click on that. You want to go to a data breakpoint and you just want to find out what accesses the address. And in doing that, you can see something is looping over the actual code in the game and doing something right it's moving it to something else probably for future compares so this here we'll show that in our disassembler yeah you can see it is move that around a bit just clean this up so there's a couple compares there not for some reason uh, and this is here where it's actually reading it so it's xoring it with something else whatever stored in eax we could probably scroll up a bit and see but that doesn't really matter right now so it adds zero c to it compares it and then if it's greater than it'll jump to wherever this is right there i think where it will just continuously loop through everything probably and if any of them are not the same it won't jump it'll hit this return i think Let's, well, let's test that. Let us uh, let's toggle a breakpoint on the return. Play the game like normal, no cheats on. It's not detecting anything. Let's activate a cheat. And you can see, I don't know, the game does still work. That's rather interesting. So we're not even getting the integrity check anymore seem to have broke it somehow and I don't even know what I did. Well, let's... Right, so let's activate our cheat. Quickly complete the level. Weird. Okay, let's go ahead and restart the game. And reattach to it. Okay, so back to where we were before. Let's browse this memory region because that'll show it right here. Let us find out what accesses it. And it looks like it only does it four times. So maybe it's telling that it can tell that a debugger is attached and it is immediately stopping it. It's not saying the integrity check. 
I'm not exactly sure why it only accesses that four times and stops. But let's try and patch that out anyway, so that when we don't have a debugger attached, we can still cheat and not have to worry about it. So like I said, it looks like it's doing something weird here, comparing it, jumping up greater, and it looks like it is just jumping up to here and looping over and over. It's adding one, so checking every single byte. This is our entire loop here. So let's go ahead and see if patching this jump will fix it for us. This is sort of annoying that we can't do it live, but you never know. Some games you won't be able to. It'll immediately crash, so you have to grab a snapshot and do it from there. So let's see what happens if we just jump. Add to our cheat table. Restart the game again. Attach to the game. And so if we turn our cheats on, you can see we're modifying it. Integrity check error. If we turn this on, does the game still work? It does. If we turn our cheats on, we can see it doesn't get the integrity error anymore. And I can't turn it off. I have no idea why. All it does, yeah, whenever I turn it back off, it should rewrite it back. So maybe that's a bug in Cheat Engine right now. I'm not sure. But our anti-cheat does seem to be doing the trick. If we turn all our cheats on, we don't get an integrity check error. And let's now check that all our cheats actually work together and don't break the game. Don't need that value anymore. Let's see what happens here. Do the mega bombs kill us? Looks like he doesn't even shoot them. Oh, there you go. He shoots when we shoot, but we still don't take damage. So that one worked for both of those. No collision. Oh, I messed that jump up. That should have worked. Well, if I mess that jump up once more, I'll quickly find the Y value and we can modify that because it'll be easier than me jumping 800 times. I want to do that last because I pressed it twice. To the right, unmodified, down, down, down. Is I'm gonna increase it by four, and what did I do? Negative one. Oh my god! So so far so good. We're still not colliding with anything. None of our cheats have messed any other cheats up, which can happen when you're overwriting scripts. So that's why you always want to do a run through, test as much as you possibly can. Because, yeah, you don't want to give someone a cheat and then have them activate two at once and your whole game breaks. But, oh, there you go. You've beaten all three games and you've beaten the integrity check. I never actually completed it with that on, so it's pretty cool. And that's it for our integrity check and our three game cheats. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go into Cave Story and we'll just run through a quick no another no collision on that game just to show that that same method does work for different games and it's not just a game only thing. See you then.